I'm back with another video. This video is gonna be what's inside my bass tackle box in bag. I keep my hard baits mostly in my box and I have my soft plastics in their bags and I have it in a tackle bag. Okay, let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. All right, y'all. This first box, I have a few swim baits in it. I really don't have much in here because I really don't buy a lot of big swim baits. I just really started buying swim baits. This is a Bass Mafia box. Y'all can see. I have a tilapia color swim bait, multi jointed. I have a bluegill color swim bait right here. Then I have a another, this is a glide bait. I have two of those, two of those. I have a bass colored um, swim bait. This is a lot of joints right here. And I have another one, this is a bass color too. And this next box I'm about to show you guys, I have most of my, like just regular baits in it, in here. I just recently bought some new tackle too. So, this one I have a lot of stuff in here. Y'all can see that? This compartment, I'm gonna try to show y'all. This one right here, I have my jigs, my flipping jigs, and my swim jigs. And this next, the bottom tray right here, I have frogs, I'll keep frogs in here. Like, just regular frogs, and I have a rat in here too. Y'all can see, I just showed y'all my jigs and my frogs. Now I have a rat right here that I said. This is a longer hunt rat. I barely use this because I don't want to lose it. And this one, I keep a lot of crankbaits. I barely, use, rarely use crankbaits, but I keep them in my tackle box just in case because you never know you could come across a crankbait bite. And this one, I have a swim bait that I showed you. And my rat and my jerk baits are kind of tangled up, yeah. But you know, I'm not gonna show y'all that right now. I'm gonna come back to it. But jerk bait, Rapala, and that's that's my jerk baits. I keep some weights in here, bully weights, right there, and a couple bottle stops. I keep some worms that I got in there. It's like light, light worms. And I keep a couple hooks too. And up here, I got a buzz bait for the frog. I have two chatter baits. And this has a frog on the back. I like the frog on the back of it because it gives off a lot of vibration when I reel it through the water. On the top water closer to the top of the column, water column. And then right here, my top water spook. I got a spook, a whopper popper, a popper, and a, and a um, spin bait, a blade bait. And these where I keep my spinner baits. I have a lot of spinner baits, but I'm not gonna take them out because they're gonna get everywhere. This is just one of them I have on top. It's a Booyah, Booyah Spinnerbait. This is rattle traps that I have. Rattle traps, and they tangle up. I have the, the Bill Lewis and the Booyah. I keep those in there too. And those are my hard baits that I have here. And now I'm about to, about to get into my soft plastics. This is my soft plastic bag. All of this is filled up with soft plastics. And I'm gonna go one by one. And this one is white color swim baits, Zoom. And these are Zoom finesse worms right here. Some more finesse worms. I'm just gonna go the type of bait it is I'm not going to go the exact color, but you, you guys can see the color, so it won't make a difference. 
And these are some fun, smaller finesse worms are the same one. These are by Yum. I got those from Cabela's. And these are some flukes. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah. These are jig trailers that I got. Cross. Got some culprit worms. I got some swim baits. Some Sankos. Y'all know y'all gotta have the young the young dinkers. Dingers in there. Just in case nothing working. Cash you that out there. Whoosh, you go get one. Now I got some white flukes. Then I have some blue ice. I think blue thunder smoke. That's what it's called, I think. I have some more swim baits. Charlie's worms. I never knew they made swim baits until I got them. And then I have some mini speed worms from Yum. And I have some crows. So you guys can see that one. Then I have some Guggen Baits crawl right here. Then I have the speed ones, the original big speed ones, watermelon. And then I have these ones, black and short shoes. Have these grubs. I got these from like a pawn shop. I really never used them, but. I'm gonna try them out later. These are motor oil. That's what the color is. Motor oil black. Black worms. Just got these two. Now these would, it's like a Seiko and a Fluke mixed together and it has a painted eye on it. But I'm gonna try to use these. And these I call a three pound bass worm. Hope you guys can see that. And this one, this one is a Guggen Bait Finesse one. Yeah. I think it's called, a, yeah, it's a Slim Shake. And this one is Reaction Innovations Black and Blue Swim Bait. I'm trying to get one right here so you guys can see it. Right there. And these are the frogs, soft plastic frogs that I have. These are some grubs that I keep for smaller swim baits, I mean spinner baits. Then I have some crawls, some more crawls right here. Some, I thought it was lemon pepper worms but it's just a bright, clear chartreuse. And these are big brush hogs right here. These are bigger than my hand. They're big. And these are the tubes that I have. Tubes and it has claws on the side. It's really not like a regular tube, but it's a good bait. And these I put on the back of my big spinner bait right here. This black and blue, these are salty, salty, you guys. Some more pearl white flukes. Have some more brush hogs, big brush hogs with chartreuse tail. And these are the crawls right here, Reaction Innovation. And I have some bass Pro Shops, big Cinco's. When I first started fishing, all I had is that pack of Senkos, you guys. They were good. I used them a lot. And these are Zoom Finesse Worms. These are watermelon colored flutes. And these are some swim baits that I use on the back of my Chatterbait trailer if I don't use a frog. And these are some more grubs that I have. Small jig trailers that I have. Some more chatterbait trailers. 
I really have a lot of trailers, but I, I rarely use them. I have Gary Yamamoto. Um, what is this called? A cut, cut trail. I never used these before, but I had them a long time. And I have some small, small swim baits that I some sometimes use for soccer. But I keep them in here just in case I throw a light, light setup and I fish those swim baits. And these are some black and blue spinner worms that I use. They kind of look purple on the camera. But I really like to use these. And these, this swim bait I use, this Kytex swim bait, this is what I use. Really, I used to use this a lot, lot for chatterbait trailers. And this is a car that I have on the back of my jig. This one is a worm, small finesse worm with a curl tail. And this one is, oh, they wasted out the bag, y'all. And this one is a fluke. Let me get one. Shiny fluke. It's just a bigger size and it's not a paddle tail of the ones that I first showed you guys. You guys. See? The pack of them. And that's my bass tackle box. Like, subscribe. Yo, stay tuned with me. Give me to my 100 subscribers go. Let's get another video. I'm going to keep them coming out for y'all. All right. All right. Stay tuned for another video. Fishing with Maze.